Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. So, to solve this problem, I obviously want to find the value of x. So, for my solution, first start with x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. And now I'm going to write 2048 here as 2 times 1024. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, a is 2, m is 2, and n is 1024. So if I rewrite this in this form, I get 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1024. And remember, this is equal to x to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of 2, and that's equal to 4. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1024. Now, I'm going to repeat what I did just did again. So 1024, that's equal to 2 times 512. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 2 times 512. And again, this is equal to x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 512. 4 to the power of 2 is 16. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 512. Now 512 I can rewrite as 256 times 2. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 2 times 256. Now this, I'm going to do the same thing again. So I have 16 to the power of 2 to the power of 256. And 16 to the power of 2, that's equal to 256. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 256 to the power of 256. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x is equal to 256. And to test this, I'm going to plug this in. So I have 256 in for x. So I have 256 to the power of 256 is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. And remember, we just wrote all of this, so we know that 2 to the power of 2048 is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. Alright, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 9 here as 3 squared. So now I have 3 squared to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. Now I'm going to let, or sorry, I'm going to rewrite 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x as 3 to the power of x to the power of 2. Because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is also equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So now I'm going to let 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now if I substitute in y in for 3 to the power of x, I get y squared minus y is equal to 12. Now I'm going to subtract 12 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. And I get y squared minus y minus 12 is equal to 0. So to factor this, we have to find out which two numbers multiply to get negative 12. So a times b is equal to negative 12, and they add to get negative 1. So a plus b is equal to negative 1. Well, negative 4 and 3 work out, because negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, and negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So now I have y squared minus 4y plus 3y 
minus 12 is equal to zero. Now, if I factor out y from y squared minus 4y, I get y times y minus 4 plus the greatest common factor of 3y minus 12 is 3, so I get 3 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor out y minus 4. So I get y minus 4 times y plus 3 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. I have y minus 4 is equal to 0, and I have y plus 3 is equal to 0. So for y minus 4 equals 0, I get y is equal to 4. And for y plus 3 equals 0, I get y is equal to negative 3. So remember how we let 3 to the power of x equal y. So now I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 4, and 3 to the power of x is equal to negative 3. Well, 3 to the power of x equals 4. To solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So then I get x times log 3 is equal to log 4, meaning x is equal to log 4 over log 3. Now for 3 to the power of x equals negative 3, you can take the power of a positive number and make it negative, so there's no solution for this, and my only solution is log 4 over log 3. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out 5 to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have 5 to the power of, oops, sorry, 5 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 7. 1 plus 1 is 2, so I have 5 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 7. Now I can divide both sides by 2, so I get... 5 to the power of x is equal to 7 over 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7 over 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is, I can actually move my x to b here to the front, so I get b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front, and I get x times log 5 is equal to log 7 over 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 7 over 2. That's going to equal log 7 minus log 2. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 7 minus log 2 over log 5. So, log of 7 here, this is equal to 0 0.8451. Log 2, this is equal to 0 0.3010. And finally, log 5, this is equal to 0 0.6990. So now I'm going to have x is equal to log 7 minus log 2, so 0 0.8451 minus 0 0.3010 all over 0 0.6990 meaning x is equal to 0 0.5441.